It appears that traveling to Mars doesn't require leaving Earth. In order to study how life on Mars could affect humans, NASA is funding an eight-month-long experiment in Hawaii that began on October 15th. The University of Hawaii at Manoa is in charge of the study, known as the Hawaii Exploration Analog and Simulation, or High Seas. This will be the longest Mars simulation done by the United States. A similar, albeit longer, simulation was done by Russia between 2010 and 2011. The principal investigator for High Seas said, "We need to know more about how the mind works, how individuals contribute to a team, and how that team dynamic changes over time." In order to anticipate how astronauts will react during long-duration space travel, a crew will live inside a dome 8,000 feet up on the side of Mount Iloa volcano. For the duration of the study, they will only be able to leave the habitat to perform simulated spacewalks. I'd love to be one of the the first people to go to Mars. So that's that's sort of my personal reason for doing this: is that maybe this is as close as I ever get, but maybe it's just an, another step on on my path to Mars. NASA is hoping to send astronauts to Mars by the 2030s, but there are concerns about the physical, mental, and emotional risks related to such a journey. Through this study, NASA hopes to gain a better understanding of the effects this type of mission has on humans.